Hi, in this video with animation, I'll take you through a simple solved problem for an inclined plane. The problem is defined on the screen. We have a mass placed on a plane and the angle has been gradually increased to 30 degrees and only at that angle the block is just starting to slide downwards. So we have to find out the coefficient of static friction, the force acting downwards and the normal reaction. Let's look at an animation. In this animation, you can see the block just starting to slide at 30 degrees. You have the arrows uh, sh showing the forces. Let's look at it again. The block is just starting to slide and the red arrows show the friction forces opposing the downward motion along the plane. So if you look at a static image, the yellow arrow which is pointing downwards is along the plane and the red arrows which are the forces of friction are upwards along the plane. The normal reaction is shown in pink color and the weight acting vertically downwards is shown as mg. So let's go ahead and draw a sketch and we have the uh, tr famous triangle of mg acting downwards, mg sine theta and mg cos theta completing the triangle. So mg sine theta is the one which is acting along the direction of the plane opposed by the friction forces f static acting upwards. And when the block just starts to slide, both are equal. So we equate mg sine theta and f static, the static friction force. Now expanding the static friction force, that's equal to mu into n. And we must be careful here to put mu static. Now the n, which is normal reaction itself, is equal to mg cos theta. Please look at the triangle. Therefore, when we equate mg sine theta and static friction force, you get mg sine theta equal to mu static into mg cos theta. The mg's cancel on both sides and you get mu static equal to sine theta by cos theta, which is 0.577. To find the second and third part of the answer, the forces acting downwards along the plane, which is the yellow arrow in the animation, is mg sine theta. So plug in the values of m, g, and sine 30, and you get 49 newtons. The normal reaction is the pink arrow in the animation, perpendicular to the surface of the inclined plane, and that's mg cos theta. Plug in the numbers and you get 84.87 newtons. So I hope this uh, explanation was clear to you and that you're more confident on inclined planes. Thanks and uh, have a great day.